so I'm just going to use some black fondant here. That's why it's important for those to be sturdy too because I need it for the hat. And I am going to do it in two pieces. So I'll take the bottom part first, so just a ball, and I'll go ahead and stretch this out, just kind of go in a circular motion. So it needs to kind of sit up on the sides like this. So I pinch that part that I want up a little more. And then let's see, so that would be a pretty good size. Okay, and then the top, do a ball, a little bit more of an oval by doing it that way. And then we need to make a line in the middle. So I'll use this tool, this is the veining tool I was using, and bring it up. If you put it down like this, push down and then bring these up, that'll help you get that middle area. Smooth it out a bit, just kind of help it back up a bit. See if I can pick it up. Right in the middle, kind of press it on. And I was going to put this right in the front. So let me get a little water. This is one of Ruth, the Rick, Ruth Ricky molds that I used earlier. Okay, now I just need to get all this kind of pinched up and all that good stuff. So I'm going to need one more of these to go in to hold that on. So I'll just cut. And I'll just pop that right in this one. Again, if you twist when you go in, then you're less likely to break it. Okay, pick it up. Kind of bend the front part down. I almost think that looks a little thick in the front. I'm going to take this. Well, I'm not going to take it off. Okay. Alternative, so I don't have to redo the whole thing, is cut with this. Pick it back up, go around the edge, pinch it again. It's just a little harder to do with that on there. Make sure you soften that, you know, cut edge because I wouldn't want that on the cake. Yeah, I think it was just too thick before. I'm sure you were saying it too. Okay, look at that little hat. Look at that. I want this to stay up a bit, and that to come down the front. And you're going to have to watch that and let it, you know, dry. You could always do that hat ahead of time and then um, let it dry. That's probably a smart thing to do. Probably. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is uh, some painting. So I need to get my uh, silver dust out and we can start painting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and paint. Yay! So I'm using a sil silver um, highlighter. You can use um, new silver or any of those or you can get some from um, Albert Ooster, the highlighter. And I am going to make a paint. So I've got lemon extract because usually alcohol, like a clear alcohol, gin or vodka usually works well with all the other luster and petal dust, but doesn't work well with the highlighter, the silver highlighter. So I just made a little paint and then I just want to carefully go over here. If you get some on the black, then you can go back and uh, clean it with a regular water brush, but look how shiny that is. You can paint these ahead of time and let them completely dry and then put them on and that's even easier. Um, it's just I didn't have time to let them dry before I put them on, so it's easier to paint it on because I would just kind of mess it all up if I did it the opposite way now. So that's how you're going to paint those. 